New details on that animal hoarding case in Chaparral. More than 200 dogs found in a home there. And we do want to warn you, many of the details here are graphic and disturbing. Volunteers who came to the scene reported finding dead dogs stacked in the trash. No food or water was found on the scene, with many of the dogs reverting to wild behavior, eating one another to survive. About 50 of the dogs were euthanized on the spot yesterday. A hundred or so that might still be adoptable were taken to an Otero County Animal Shelter for evaluation, and about 50 still remain in the home. And joining us now is Dr. Beth Vesco Mock to talk about this. Dr. Vesco Mock, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. Uh, this is possibly the worst uh, allegedly animal hoarding case that we've seen this year. 208 animals found eating one another. How can we bring this problem to a stop? Well, what we need to do is people need to realize that when you take on these animals, you have to be able to financially care for them. And many people are not financially able to take care of them. And this was a sanctuary. This gentleman did not intend for this misery to come to these animals. He right. really didn't. He, I'm sure he started taking a few at a time and a few at a time. And what happens is if he doesn't have the money for the spaying and neutering, they're reproducing. And then the food bill just starts getting out of control and out of control. And it just compounds itself. And pretty soon you do have 200 animals. And they are going to start eating each other for food. Um, they had no water. They were severely dehydrated. They were not well taken care of. Um, you know, and it's, it's an illness that many people it's easy to fall into that pattern right. because unfortunately here in this area you know El Paso County Doniana County um, we do unfortunately kill a lot of animals and, you know we hear the same pattern they're well-intentioned people correct. usually with big hearts correct with sometimes some traces of perhaps a mental illness some correct. emotional issues that are driving them to hoarding Tell me, what kind of impact is this having on the community in Chaparral? When you have suddenly 200 animals, you know, dozens of them have already been euthanized, but the rest have to go somewhere. somewhere. Well, it puts a tremendous um, burden on the volunteers and the animal advocates in the community because they feel very responsible to try to help them. And the government-ran shelters who takes these animals on cannot necessarily afford it. They have no space for them. I know here up in Doniana County, we only have a couple runs open this evening, so we would have a very hard time helping, taking very many of them. I'm sure Altero County is very full. I know there are pr some private entities who are trying to take these animals on. It's a tremendous financial burden because these animals need a lot of veterinarian care. Um, and a lot of them are very, very shy. They're not well socialized. It's going to take a special person to adopt these animals to to adapt them into their home. You know, very gruesome details in this story. I have to ask you this question. How, do, can you give us an estimate? How long does it take for an animal to start eating another animal out of hunger? I would say I personally have never actually seen a dog eat another dog out of hunger. Um, y y it would have to take quite a few days. It would take quite a few days before they would go to that point. Wow. I would say probably at least five days before they would go to that point. I have heard of um, elderly people passing away in their homes and the dogs, you know, are left in the homes with them. And even then they do not eat on the, on the human. Um, so it, it would take quite some time, at least five days. Wow. Well, thank you so much for sharing your insight with us. We appreciate well, thank it. Thank you. Such a huge problem, pet overpopulation. And thank you to ABC for covering this story and bringing all these situations to light. And truly, thank you for all the coverage you give for the animals in this community. Mm. We appreciate it. Thank you. Always great to talk with you. Thank, thank you. Thank you so much.